It's now or never. They're doing it. It's now or never. Warriors fans descend on Sacramento for a win or go home game against the Kings. And tonight, it is a blowout loss for the Dubs. So it's extremely disappointing, but hopefully, hopefully next season we'll come out better. The Warriors season now over after losing 118 to 94 in Sacramento. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. Tonight could mark the end of a dynasty as one of the Splash Brothers, Clay Thompson, now heads off to free agency. Live coverage from KTVU's Amber Lee outside Chase Center where thousands of fans watch the game tonight. And Amber, really just frustrating game all around here. That's right, Mike. Obviously, this was a very difficult game for Warriors fans to watch. Still, many stuck around till the final buzzer. We spoke with them as they left the watch party. These Sacramento fans, they deserve the win. They play better than us. You know, we kind of came out good. We started the game out good, but we kind of came out flat in the second half. Clay didn't have a good game. Um, it was a lot too many turnovers and literally no defense all game. Very sad, heartbreaking. We'll come back next season. The Warriors, they did their best. They tried. The Warriors, they, they didn't play like themselves. Dub Nation had weather on its side for an outdoor watch party at Thrive City outside Chase Center. I'm out here every time enjoying the atmosphere with the crowd. We're all Warriors fans. More than 2,500 fans attended this free event. They say the huge screen and being a part of this community are the draw. It's different than like just the two of us on our couch at home, just to be surrounded by people who want the same thing. Fans say they have high expectations despite the many ups and downs of this Warriors season. It's all about moments, right? Uh, seeing special moments where like the team kind of syncs up. This must-win play-in game has fans on the edge of their seats as the Warriors battle to get into the NBA playoffs. The nervous tension palpable when the Warriors trailed by double digits at times and were down going into halftime. It's nerve-wracking because we want we want to continue and go to the next level. Love and loyalty on full display. Such a great connection to each other, and they just really seem to love playing together. You don't see that in a lot of sports. We'll still be there for them, whether we win or lose. That's the important thing for us. Fans tell me they hope the core groups, Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green, will remain together. And they say they're looking forward to next season, which starts in October. Mike, Julie? Well, I think the only thing guaranteed next year is Steph Curry and Steve Kerr, the head coach. So it will be an interesting offseason for the Golden State Warriors indeed. Amber, thank you for that. Tonight